Make any design of red work embroidery or create a quilting design for your embroidery machine or artistic quilter with the Artistic Suite version 6. Before we change this pretty flower embroidery into a quilting design, let's take an original embroidery and change it into red work. First, choose the weight of your embroidery and then choose the type of fabric you're going to be stitching on. Today, we'll create red work for a cotton tea towel. Your artistic suite will set the embroidery compensation, underlay, density, and stitch length. It will also suggest the proper stabilizer for the fabric chosen, making all of your embroidery easy. Let's choose a background image from one of the many backgrounds that are included in your artistic suite. Set your hoop size and let your software do the rest. You've just created an embroidery design. It was that simple. Now let's change it to red work. Add an outline around your whole design. If we zoom in you can see there's a little outline around every part of your embroidery design. Once you have the outline, let's get rid of the fills. And it's that easy. We've just changed an embroidery design into red work. But let's make some changes and have some fun. First, let's delete certain parts of the inner part of the flower in your embroidery. Once you have that done, you can add more pieces back in. So now you have a flower that looks just a little bit different. Do the same thing to the other two flowers and you're almost finished. For red work we want the stitching to show up really well so instead of just a running stitch we're going to change our outline into a triple stitch outline. By doing that you can see your embroidery just very nicely. So that's it. You've created your embroidery design for your tea towel. Now let's go ahead and create a quilting design. We've already learned how easy it is to get rid of the fill in any embroidery. And also let's change from a triple stitch back to a running stitch, which is better for quilting. Also when you're working with a quilting design, you want to make sure that your design is a continuous line quilting design. To do that, we're going to make an adjustment in our embroidery design. First, all we're going to do is choose a part of the design and actually move it so it's touching the other part. This will eliminate jump stitches and it will also create a continuous line embroidery which is exactly what we want for a quilting design whether it be on your automated quilter or in your embroidery machine. You can also adjust how your flower petals look just simply by pulling those little arrows. So now that we have our design, let's make sure it's going to stitch as we wish. We want to make sure that our design stitches from the inside to the outside. And then just check our sequencing. To check our sequencing, we're just going to look at our sequence manager and make sure it starts from the center and works its way out. Once we have that done, Let's go ahead and use the slow redraw. This will show you exactly how your design is going to stitch. You can see this for embroidery and also for your quilting designs. So now that you have your quilt design created, all you need to do is export to quilt and then choose the proper file format for your automated quilter. If you're going to be stitching on your embroidery machine, you want to save as 
and again save as the proper format for your embroidery machine. For more information about the Artistic Quilter or the Artistic Sewing Suite version 6, visit ArtisticSewingSuite.com or your local Artistic dealer.